Network protocols are needed to enable communication over a network, which allows different devices to communicate with each other and share resources. Without network protocols, networks would not be able to transfer data between different devices, making the internet as we know it today impossible. When two devices connect to a network, they need a way to communicate with each other. Network protocols provide this method of communication by establishing rules and protocols they must be followed when transmitting data. They define how data should be formatted, how it should be transmitted, and how it should be interpreted among other things. In fact, the history of network protocols is a fascinating one too, that stretches back to the earliest days of computers and the internet. One of the earliest efforts to address this problem was the development of transmission control protocol TCP and the internet protocol IP back in the late 1970s. These protocols were designed by a team of engineers at the University of California, Berkeley, led by Wint Kerf and Bob Khan, and they quickly became the de facto standard for networking on the internet. Since then, there have been many advances and improvements to network protocols. And in this video, we will be discussing all of the important networking protocols and their functionality. So grab onto your seats and stay tuned till the end to learn everything there is to know about networking protocols. Alright, so in this video, we will cover topics like introduction to network protocols, need of network protocols, what is Ethernet, then types of network protocols like TCP, UDP, IP, post office protocol, POP, and SMTV, and much more. Now, before moving forward, let me ask you a quick question. So, Ethernet is commonly used in which type of network? Option A is LAN, local area network. Option B is WAN, wide area network. Option C is PAN, personal area network. And option D is MAN, metropolitan area network. Now you can pause this video and answer in the comment section below. So let's start with the first topic, which is introduction to network protocol. A network protocol is like a set of rules that govern how devices in a network communicate with each other. These rules are like instructions that specify how data should be sent, received and understood by the devices. Network protocols are formalized requirements and plans that consist of rules and procedures that describe how devices should interact with each other over a network. They provide a communication system to exchange information using various physical means such as cables or wireless connections. Just like humans follow certain protocols when they interact with each other, Network protocols define specific steps and guidelines for devices to follow. These rules ensure that information is sent and received correctly and that all devices involved understand each other. In essence, network protocols are a way for devices to speak the same language and follow a common set of guidelines so that they can successfully share information and work together effectively. Now let's understand the need of network protocols. Alright, so let me explain this to you in simple terms. Network protocols are like guidelines that devices follow when they communicate with each other over a network. These protocols are needed for several reasons. Firstly, network protocols ensure that devices understand each other. Imagine if you and your friend were speaking different languages and had no way to understand each other. Communication would be impossible. Similarly, devices from different manufacturers and with different functions need a common language or protocol to understand each other's signals and data. Secondly, network protocols ensure that data is transmitted reliably. When you send a message or a browser, a website, you want to make sure that the information reaches its destination accurately and without errors. Network protocols help in breaking down data into smaller packets, sending them across the network and reassembling them correctly at the receiving end. Thirdly, network protocols provide security. They include measures to protect data from unauthorized access and ensure that sensitive information remains confidential. This is particularly important when you make online transactions or share personal information over the internet. Lastly, network protocols allow for interoperability. This means that devices from different manufacturers and with different functions can work together seamlessly. For example, your computer can connect to a printer and your smartphone can access a Wi-Fi network because they follow the same protocols. So these were some of the needs of network protocols. Now, before understanding the types of network protocols, we must understand about Ethernet. So, Ethernet is a type of network protocol that helps devices connect and communicate with each other in a local area network LAN. It is like a highway that allows data to travel between devices such as computers, printers and routers. 
Ethernet uses a set of rules and procedures to transmit data in the form of packets. These packets are like small packages of information that are sent from one device to another. Ethernet ensures that these packets are delivered to the right destination and in the correct order. Think of Ethernet as the road system that connects all the devices in a network. It ensures that data can flow smoothly between devices, enabling them to share information and work together efficiently. Now let's have a look at the types of network protocols. Here we will cover some of the types of network protocols. We'll start with the first one which is TCP, that is Transmission Control Protocol. TCP is a network protocol that ensures reliable and ordered delivery of data between devices. It breaks down data into smaller packets, sends them across the network and ensures that they are reassembled correctly at the receiving end. TCP also handles error detection and retransmission if any packets are lost or corrupted during transmission. So this was about TCP or Transmission Control Protocol. Now second is IP that is Internet Protocol. IP is another network protocol that handles the addressing and routing of packets across the internet. It assigns unique IP addresses to devices and determines how data is sent from the source device to the destination device. IP ensures that the data packets reach the right destination by routing them through various network devices like routers. Third is UDP or User Datagram Protocol. UDP is a network protocol that provides a faster but less reliable method of data transmission compared to TCP. It does not establish a connection or guarantee packet delivery or order. UDP is commonly used for time sensitive applications like video streaming or online gaming where a small amount of data loss is acceptable. Next is POP that is post office protocol. POP is a network protocol used for retrieving emails from a mail server to a client device. It allows users to download emails from the server onto their device and manage them locally. POP is typically used by email clients like Outlook or Thunderbird. Next we have is SMTP or Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. SMTP is a network protocol used for sending emails from a client device to a mail server. It handles the transmission of email messages and ensures that they are delivered to the appropriate recipient's mail server. SMTP is responsible for the reliable transfer of email across different mail servers. So this was about Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Now let's understand the sixth one which is File Transfer Protocol or FTP. FTP is a network protocol used for transferring files between devices over a network. It provides a standard method for uploading and downloading files to and from a remote server. FTP allows users to navigate directories, transfer files and manage file permissions. Now coming to the next which is Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure that is HTTPS. HTTPS is a secure version of HTTP that provides encryption and authentication. It ensures that the data transmitted between a web browser and a web server is encrypted and protected from unauthorized access. HTTPS is commonly used for secure online transactions, sensitive data transfers and protecting users privacy. So these were some of the types of network protocols. So basically network protocols play a crucial role in enabling communication and data transfer across various computer networks. We have explored several types of network protocols, each serving specific purpose and operating at different layers of networking order. So if you are someone who is interested in building a career in cybersecurity by graduating from the best universities, then try giving a shot at Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity with modules from MIT Schwarzman College of Engineering. Also, have a look at what a learner has to say about our course. Hi, I'm Philip. I'm 61 years old and last year, I upskilled with Simply Learn's postgraduate program in cybersecurity after working 30 years in the IT sector in various different profiles. I'm happy to tell you that I was able to clear and pass my CISSP and CCSP certification exams on the first attempt after taking the course. The course, I must say, was packed with practical examples and was led by highly skilled and certified instructors with many companies before as a, as a security analyst and the architect on a contract basis, but I needed some stability which I got with the job I just started with Infosys as a cybersecurity consultant. Happened on the first. All right, guys, with that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and keep learning. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. 
Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing. Designed in collaboration with leading universities and top corporations, and delivered by industry experts, choose any of our programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.